gentlemen, this is lesson two for subtracting decimals. First example, subtract the two decimals, 2.31 minus 5.08. Again, when doing these, your first step would be to make sure to line up um, the decimal symbols like you would for addition. Also, when I do subtraction, I actually flip and make sure that the larger number is on top and the smaller number is on bottom. And then I just make sure I remember the original question because in this case, you should end up with a negative as obviously 5 is larger than 2. So 2 minus 5 would produce a negative number. But um, for basic subtraction, it's, it is almost easier to rearrange and have that 5 on top. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to have 5.08 minus 2.31 8 minus 1 is 7 0 minus 3 we need to fix that so you steal from the, uh, the 5 and turn it into a 4 and give yourself a 10 so 10 minus 3 is 7 and then 4 minus 2 is 2 and then again when we bring it over here to do the 2.77 we remember that it's actually negative because again the 5 was the second number, so you would end up with negative 2.77. So this showed you two different things that you have to be aware of. One, when you, get, when you produce negative solutions, and two, borrowing, when you need to borrow in order to solve or to continue to solve the subtraction problem. So that's the example for subtracting decimals. The used tries are uh, A, part A is 6.19 minus 1.42 and B is 1.25 minus 6.32. And again, just like with any, uh, with all the addition ones, if the placements, so what place it goes to, the hundredth or thousandth or, or whatever, um, if they don't match, you always line up the decimal. Always make sure those decimals are lined up and then just put in zeros as placeholders. Okay, and again, this goes into your interactive notebook. Left side notes, right side you tries.